So this is the Palace of Art at the bottom of Calimadero, at the right hand side of Alameda Park and that's where we're going to next. And again that's just a few minutes walk from our hotel and can you see the police everywhere? Um, you know there really is a heavy police presence uh, and there are two types, there's the, the ordinary police if you like but there are also police, they're, they're wearing different shirts and they are um, specifically for the tourists um, if you like so I think they, they do that deliberately just so that tourists have, um, you know, feel a bit safer <laughs> but yeah there's literally a lot of police around and everyone is so helpful, I must say so guys, we just had our, our lovely dinner there and just spotted this advert for the Day of the Dead. You know, it's, it's really interesting. Last Halloween or the Halloween before, gosh I can't even remember now. Yeah, the Halloween before, um, I was down in, in London um, doing a live TV show with Michael Cummings of Revelation TV and we mentioned various things. Um, regarding, you know, this that time of year, October, November, and the various death festivals, occult festivals around the world. And interestingly, one of the, the things that we mentioned was Day of the Dead in Mexico. Now, that Halloween, I wouldn't have thought that <laughs> I would actually ever come to Mexico, so there you are. I thought that was interesting. And yeah, if you want to see that, it's on my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, and of course, at the end of the month, when I'm talking in a, in a church in Mexico, that will be something that I'm sure will be mentioned there again. Palace of Art started its construction in 1904, and it comprises Art Deco, Art Nouveau, and neoclassical styles. It houses some of the most famous Diego Rivera murals and various concepts, both classical and more modern throughout the year. Oh, <laughs> look at that little dog. Okay, so that's three dogs. Do you know, we've only, actually since we've got here, we've only saw one dog. Um, on YouTube videos we saw a lot more. It um, actually looked like there was dogs everywhere, but we haven't saw that at this area. And it's so, it's beautiful, look, you know, not a cloud in the sky. This is awesome for us because we're from Scotland and right now it's cold. In fact, the last couple of weeks We've had frost, we've had snow, so it's amazing to be here. <laughs> Lots of monuments here. And um, maybe that guy was a president. Jacaranda trees. Now, because we are just in mid-February, they're just coming into bloom. But we'll be back here at the end of our, our trip four weeks from now and they should be hopefully in full bloom. And there are a lot, a lot of cyclists, people do, they do make use of the bicycles here. Look, there's a guy on his bike filming as he goes. I'm not that brave, <laughs> I must say. I've never tried that, I wouldn't like to try that. It's probably illegal. So this is us at the end of Alameda Park and there's a Hilton Hotel. There's a lot of variety of hotels in this area of Mexico City. The one we're staying in is the Ritz, but it's not the Ritz. It's uh, about $80 a night and when we come back at the end of the month we're staying in another hotel it's only about $45 a night. So 
there's a wide spectrum of prices depending where you stay and what area you stay. So we've done the park now, so we're going to go and have a look through this market and take more of shopping and then we'll hopefully go into the Palace of Art when it starts to get a little bit more hot. So thank you all and see you later. Bye. There are apparently lavender fields here which we haven't found yet but they're not that far away. Uh, we're still in the park and like I said the area is so clean there's you know very little trash lying about and if so it gets cleared away really quickly. <laughs> so as I said we are heading to the Palace of Art now. Hello. <laughs> La chiste no se cae, hijo. Eso déjaselo a las mujeres. Las mujeres tienen dos razones que sostener. Si nosotros tuviéramos que sostener algo, estaríamos así. O como yo hasta. There's always something to see here. Lots of street theater and so on. Right, we're now going into the Palace of Art, and this is a wee sign outside for the Mexico 68 Olympics. Everyone's getting a photograph taken with it. But we're going in now. See you guys shot. And in 1968, this was also the city of culture. And again, we have the beautiful architecture, a blend of art, art deco and classical. Just gorgeous. School of Art, which sadly burnt down just recently. My dad actually went to Glasgow School of Art. He trained there to become an art teacher. I remember he took me there as a child. So we hope to catch the sunset going down by the Palace of Art. And we just missed it. The sunset happens very quickly here. Very easy to miss it. Um, well, what we did catch was the filming. I'm in. <laughs> we got the filming. It looks like we've found a Spanish, a Mexican creature. It looks to me like he's reading from the Bible, so it's lovely to see. Was this where we saw one of the street creatures? Yeah, it was just over there. And we actually saw one last night, again, at the Zopolo Square. Is that how you pronounce that, Paul? And um, it was a different guy, because the first guy I think had a beard, this guy looked different, so... Anyhow, Jack and a cheese. Hi hey guys, this is us back at the Palace of Art and at Alleyweather Park and you can see the jacarandas are now 
um, to Bloom. So we're going to go to the park and have a little walk about it. So here we are in the centre of Alida Park, looking up towards the Palace of Art. And you can see it's another nice day in Mexico City. Guys, that's us leaving uh, Alameda Park now and the Palace of Art on our last day in uh, Mexico City, our last day in Mexico, 2019. Well guys, we had a lovely time in the Palace of Art, but unfortunately we were not allowed to video. So uh, we've, we've taken some photographs though and it was, it was really beautiful. Again, the architecture is just stunning. And of course, some of you will have probably realised that Paul did not eat crickets for breakfast. Um, <laughs> totally believed him but he was just joking. Maybe might, tonight. Yeah he might eat crickets yet but, but they were for breakfast. And so what else were you going to say Paul? You were going to share some things you were Oh yeah but the murals the murals were really fantastic. Mostly by Diego Rivera and Artigueros or Tomoya. But uh, the reason that they were painted is like the old church stained glass and it was the fact that a lot of Mexicans were illiterate. And this depicted the history of Mexico from the conquistadors to roughly about the 1930s. So it was educational as well as artistic. Yeah, and I, I thought the colours were absolutely stunning, really beautiful. And um, what else? What else were we going to say? What were we going to do? We, we're now going out for dinner. We're going out for dinner, but we didn't manage into the post office, the famous post office. Maybe tomorrow. We did pop in yesterday, which was our first day here, and we took some photographs, but we didn't have the, the camera camcorder, so we didn't film anything there yesterday, but we hope to do that tomorrow. And, yep, yeah, we'll share a little bit tomorrow, um, a little bit more again then. So thanks for watching, and we hope that, that you're enjoying it so far. And, you know, it was lovely. Today was really our, our first day here, we, obviously we arrived the other day, but this was our first day of, of really filming, so um, I thought it was quite cool that on our first day of filming we, we got to interview two people already, the lovely Carmen, and she was so helpful, and um, also Christian, the, the tour guide who spoke with us too, so hopefully we'll meet some more folks that we can interview along the way, and it is a, a five week vacation tour that we're doing so hopefully that you'll enjoy some of what we do film and towards the end of, of the journey I will be speaking in a church in where is it again Paul? Queritaro. Queritaro. Um, it's a pastor friend of a friend of mine uh, Arthur Perales it's his, his friend 
has a church over there and we'll share a little more about that towards the time. And again, here's the birds. Um, thank you for watching today.